So, number 1, differentiate each of the following expression with respect to x. So, before this, what happened is that we, something, we get the equation where we can expand easily, like the power of 2. So, if you have the power of 2, you can easily expand to get x squared plus 8x plus 16. But this is different. So, this one is x to the power of 5. So, you cannot do it manually because it will take you so many times. So, you have to do like 1 by 1, right? x plus 4 times x plus 4 times x plus 4 to the power of 3. And then after you get this, 3. And then after you get this, you have to multiply. So, this will be a very long way to calculate. So, you cannot just expand. You cannot just expand uh, like this uh, example. Okay. So, when, when we cannot expand, we can directly differentiate it. So, the dy over dx is equal to, but what happened is that, we will differentiate just the power. So, just the power, we ignore, we ignore inside, and then we multiply with differentiation inside. Okay, quite long, right? But then let us, let me show you what how this happened. So we just differentiate the power. So we see here when we have differentiation, when we want to differentiate the power, right? We bring the power forward. So we have 5 here. So this one will be x plus 4. We just ignore the inside first. And then we take the power with this 5 minus 1. So this is a differentiation, right? Without uh, counting the inside 1. And then multiply with the differentiation inside. So we have to differentiate what is inside. Something like this. So you see, you take the power, you bring forward, and then you calculate, and then you just uh, maintain this one, you minus one, and then multiply with differentiation what is inside. So here you get 5x plus 4, 5 minus 1 is 4. So when you differentiate this one, you know x is equal to x to the power of 1. So you bring forward, you get, you get here, you get 1, you get x. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. So usually when you have x, you just take what is the constant in front, which is 1. So 1 and then 4 would become 0. So here you get 5, x plus 4, power of 4. This one is x minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so x power of 0 is equal to 1, so you get 1. So you get 5x plus 4, 4. Okay, so what happened is, you see here, what I do is that I, uh, I differentiate this one, ignoring the, in, ignoring the middle one. Here, the inside in the bracket. So, you just uh, bring forward and then you minus the power with 1. Later on, you need to differentiate the inside. Multiply with differentiate inside. Okay. So, here you have 2x minus 3 power of 4. So, when you differentiate, so you do the power first. So, 4, you bring forward. You get 4 here. 2x minus 3. And then this one would be 4 minus 1. And then you differentiate what is inside. So we know that differentiate we are doing term by term. So when we differentiate 2x, we know that 2x is power of 1. When we have power of 1, so we bring 1 times 2, you get 2. And then x is x to the power of 1 is equal to x1 minus 1. You will get, yeah, I just write this one for the first one. And then the constant will become 0. Right? So here 4. 2x minus 3. So this one we will get 2. You see here, 1 minus 1, you get x to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. So usually the easiest way you see here, when you have 2x, you just uh, take the constant. So here, d over dx, when we differentiate 3x. So you see, when we differentiate with x, we will get the constant, which is 3. When we differentiate with number, we will get 0. So, something like this. Like this is the fastest way. Why? Because we know that this one is power of 1. When we bring forward and minus 1, we will get power of 0. Anything power of 0 will become 1. So, 1 times the constant, you will get the constant. So, you will end up with this. 
So you just remember when you differentiate, uh, when you differentiate, when you have only x, you will just uh, get the constant after you differentiate. And then when you have just the constant, when you differentiate, since it has no x, so it will be 0. Okay. So here see u1 over 3, 6 minus 3, x power of 6. You see the power is too uh, long. So what happened is that dy over dx is equal to, so, so usually the constant won't be affected, right? So 1 over 3. So for this one, you see you bring the power forward. So 6 will be, will be bring forward, 6 minus 3x. You won't, uh, you won't touch this one, you just let it be. And then the power of 6, you need to minus with 1. It will become 5. And then after you do this, then you have to multiply with differentiation of what is inside. So this one is d over dx. This one is 6 minus 3x. Or if you can see, you can directly differentiate here. So this one is 1 over 3. So this one is 6 times 6 minus 3x5. So when you differentiate this, you know that when you differentiate constant, you will get 0. And when you differentiate the one with only x, you will just need to take the constant. So I show you in B before. So this one will be equal to 0 minus 3. So you can multiply 1 over 3 and 6, you get 2. So here you get 2. 6 minus 3, x to the power of 5, negative 3. So you get negative 6, 6 minus 3, x to the power of 5. So d for x squared minus 5 to the power of 7. So dy over dx is equal to, so we, so we do the power first. So 7 bring forward, you get 7. So for x squared minus 5, then the power minus 1. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And then we differentiate what is inside. So when we differentiate, you see here what happened is that. So we bring, so we do 1 by word, 1, term by term. So 2 times 4, you get 8. And then power of 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Or you, you don't have to write 1 because x to the power of 1 is x. So we know when we differentiate constant, we will get 0. So here we don't have to write. So here you get 7 times 8 is 56x. So this one would be for x squared minus 5 to the power of 6. So here e 1 over 6x plus 2 power of 8. So dy over dx is equal to, so we bring the power forward. So 1 over 6x plus 2 and then the power need to be minus with 1. So 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. See here, you bring, you bring the power forward, you multiply and then you minus the power with 1. And then after that, you have to differentiate what is inside the, uh, inside the uh, bracket. So we know that when we differentiate 1 over 6x, you will get 1 over 6. Right. When we differentiate the one with x, we just take the constant. And then when we differentiate constant without x, so it will be 0. So here you get 8 times 1 over 6x plus 2. This one would be times 1 over 6. So 8 times 8 times 1 over 6, you get 8 over 6. This one is equal to 4 over 3. 1 over 6x plus 2. So where is the power? This one is 7, right? 7. Alright. So you see here, so you bring and then you differentiate. So this one is here, I just write d over dx. So the, this one is 1 over 6x plus 2, right? So this one, when we differentiate, we do term by term. We know x is x power of 1. So when 1 multiply with 1 over 6, we get 1 over 6, right? So x will become, this one will be 1 minus 1. So you will get x to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. Okay. And this one you have 2. So 2 without x means x to the power of 0. Because you know 2 to the power, x to the power of 0 is 1, right? So when we, uh, when we want to differentiate, 0 times 2 would become 0. So this one will become 0, so you get 1 over 6. You see here, so anything 
with x. We just take the constant, we become 1 over 6. And the 1 without x will become 0. So we ended up with 1 over 6 which is here. Okay, f 2 over 3, 5 minus 2x power of 9. So dy over dx is equal to, so you bring forward, actually you are multiplying 2 over 3 with 9. Okay, but never mind, 1 by 1. So this one, when you bring 9 forward, so you have 5 minus 2x, then the power need to be minus with 1. See? And then you differentiate what is inside, which is 5 minus 2x. You can write directly, like what I did in D and E, or you can one by one like this. So, never mind. So, this one is multiply, right? So, you can cut off, you get 6. So, here 6, 5 minus 2x to the power of 8, this one, up to this one. And then, when you differentiate this, you know, when you differentiate just constant without x, you get 0, right? And then, when you differentiate 1 with x, you will take the constant. So, here is negative Sorry, negative 2. So, here you get 6. 5 minus 2. X to the power of 8. Negative 2, which is equal to negative 12. 5 minus 2. X to the power of 8. So, G. 1 minus X minus X to the power of 2. Power of 3. <laughs> dy over dx is equal to. So, we bring the power forward, we get 3, 1 minus x, minus x to the power of 2. Then, the power will be minus with 1. So, 3 minus, I just write lah, 3 minus 1 is 2. Or, you can directly write 2 here. So, you differentiate this one. Like, I just write lah. If you want to directly differentiate, you can also do, so, 1 minus x minus x square. So, here you get. 3, 1 minus x minus x to the power of 2, power of 2. So, when you differentiate this, we know just the number without x. When we differentiate, you will get 0. So, this one is gone. So, the one with only x, when you differentiate, you get the constant which is negative 1. And then, the one with this one, so it's negative. You bring the power forward which you get 2. And then x, and then you minus the power with 1. So, 2 minus 1. So, here you get 3, 1 minus x minus x square square. This one is negative 1 minus 2x. You see here, 1 is negative and negative. So, we can take out the negative. So, 1 minus x minus x square. So, when we take out the negative, negative 1 times negative, we get 1. Negative 2x times negative, we get plus 2x. So, which is also equal to negative 3, 1 plus 2x. This one would be 1 minus x minus x square, square. So, here h, 2x3 minus 4x plus 1 to the power of negative 10. So, here dy over dx. So, we bring the power forward. So, negative 10. So, this one. We don't touch the inside here. Minus 4x plus 1. So, negative 10 minus 1. So, we minus the power with 1. So, that here would be differentiation of what is inside. So, differentiation of 2x cubed minus 4x plus 1. So, you see here, dy over dx, when I write it right, this way, I don't have to write what is inside. So, but if you write d over dx, then you have to write what is y. So, here, I get negative 10. So, 2x cubed minus 4x plus 1. Negative 10 minus 1 is negative 11. So, when I differentiate this, so I differentiate term by term. So, the first one, I differentiate this one. 3 times 2 is 6 and then I get x. So, we minus the power with 1, we get 2. And then this one minus 4x. So, we know that anything with x, we only take the constant. So, we get 4. Because when you calculate, you will still get the only the constant in front. So, and when we differentiate a constant without x, it will get 0. So, you get this. So, here you get negative 10 times 
6x squared minus 4 times 2x cubed minus 4x plus 1 to the power of negative 11. So this one is equal to, so you see, you don't want the power to be negative, right? So negative 10, 6x squared minus 4 divided by 2x cubed minus 4x plus 1, this one power of 11.